Hey guys, this is Curl and welcome to Promo Look At. These are basically videos that I do for tabletop gaming. And for without further ado, today's promo we're going to be looking at is for Pokemon, a training card game. And the promo we're looking at today is continuing our little sets of the Pokemon, the very first movie. And this is how you were able to get this Pokemon card. Now, I'm going to show the background. And this is the fourth one to the set, which is Mr. Pikachu. And here's a closer look again. I'm sorry my cards look old, or it just looks like it's destroyed, but <laughs> um, I had them for years. So, what does Pikachu do? Uh, he's a basic Pokemon, as I can tell from here, and his name is Pikachu. He has 50 HP, and he's an electric. Now, you guys are probably saying, wait, isn't he supposed to be a stage 1 due to the fact that he P there's a Pichu? Well, this is before uh, Pichu, and he, they basically made... Uh, baby Pokemon afterwards so Pichu really doesn't really count to its stage uh, to being a basic Pokemon and then Pikachu turning into a stage one they I guess they never did that but uh, there are some cards that get bonuses but not to the old school cards but yeah um, as far as I know uh, the picture on it uh, there's this electricity in the background doesn't look like he summoned it but uh, he does have that Nen aura around him so that electricity is probably coming out of him but, um, yeah, it doesn't really look like it's part of Pikachu. It just looks like it was just drawn in the back, like, oh, yeah, this is going to look cool. And it does make it look cool. And, again, with the aura around it, it's like a yellowish-reddish aura. So, I, th I think that looks pretty cool. Again, up here, this is how you know it's uh, the theatrical version of Pokemon. Because it says, uh, Kids WB po uh, presents Pokemon, the very first movie. So, that's how this was available. Like I said earlier, um... His little decks right here says uh, mouse Pokemon length one uh, one inch four inches. I mean one feet four inches weighs thirteen pounds. So he's very very light. He's kind of like a baby. So it's actually pretty interesting. Uh, hi, um, the uh, here's that uh, rainbow arch that it has right here saying promo with the star on it, uh, with the black star promo in it. Um, his moves. Now, the first one, you need an electric energy. You can't use this move unless you have an electric energy. It says recharge. Search your deck for a energy card, an electric energy card, and attach it to Pikachu. Shuffle your deck afterwards. So, it's not bad. Um, he can basically start stacking up with uh, your deck, but you can basically lose a move. And that that's not really great when it comes to today's metagame. But, uh, let's see what his next move is. You need three electric energies. There's no doubt about this. You need three electric energies. So, Thunderbolt. This card, all energy cards attached to Pikachu in order to use this attack. It does 50. Okay. I think it's a great move. I mean, it, it does 50. But in today's metagame, that 50 and then you discard the whole thing and then you have to recharge him again. That be basically means that you're looking to do the move one time and then get destroyed afterwards. Unless you have a Pokemon that can give him electric energies from... In the active zone unless you put him back in the bench and then you start refilling him but the fact is that you basically threw away three energy uh yeah three energy cards just to use that one move i mean that's like a desperation move i wouldn't recommend this pikachu just from those two attacks uh the next thing is his weakness is fighting he has no resistance and he has a retreat cost of one so you just need to spend any type of energy you can use a psychic energy for you care to retreat him so that's not bad uh, his text, it says, when several of these Pokemon gather, they attract so much electricity that they can cause lightning to strike. He's a level 13, and he's number 25 out of the 151 from back in the day. Um, but yeah, that's, that's not bad. Uh, I think that was part of the red and blue, uh, Pokedex, uh, data. So, I don't recall too much, but I think that is. His illustrations by Ken Shigamori. Who basically, I guess, did all the first four promos from what I noticed. Let's see if he continues that trend. Uh, he's from 95, 96, 99 Nintendo Creatures, Game Freak at 99 Wizards 4. So, again, that's a, how I determine whether it is a Wizards promo. It's because it says down there, later on, they become Nintendo promos. But, oh, well, they changed to other types of promos. But this one is a Wizards promo. Um, what can I say about it? Will I use this in the meta game? No, I would not recommend him in the metagame. I mean, there's probably better Pikachus out there. Um, the Thundershock Pikachu was better. The, the very first promo I showed you guys. 
um, because of the simple fact that he does thunder shock and you have a chance to paralyze and you don't have to really discard all your energy so it's not like you're, you're throwing them away for this so I'm, I'm not saying he's bad I'm just saying it's not the greatest I mean there's better Pikachu's out there especially the basic Pikachu because he also has thunder shock and you flip for to see if you paralyze um, he's good but not that great um, his background's pretty cool. I really do like it. I mean, they did a really nice job with his background. He's like, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> um, let's tell you how this guy was available. Now, you guys know he's available through the. Um, he was available through uh, the theatrical version. So you basically bought a ticket and you went to watch the first movie. He's no longer available in that aspect. So I'll eliminate that. He was also available in the seventh, uh, seventh next generation. Um, world world uh hold oh my goodness uh world hobby um fans fans was it fans fair 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 so he was um the seventh generation next hobby uh world hobby fair um that's where he was available it was a sheet that they give you and this was around 97 when they when they he basically came out so that's how he became available uh, the following uh, way he was available also in Japan, so this is all Japan, was through Red Deck. It was a, a quick starter, uh, quick starter, uh, starter gift set, which was he also was available there. Um, the Dutch version that I, I recall, it was available through the uh, World Pikachu Fair, uh, World Pikachu Collection, my mistake. World Pikachu Collection, uh, which was a bunch of Pikachus. Basically, pretty much all the promos are a lot of other Pikachus that were had a Pikachu stamp in the in the side, and that's how he became available through Dutch, um, and pretty much everywhere because a lot of people started going for that Dutch one. But um, that's how he became available through all those little all those little means. There's other little means too, but as of right now, I'm just gonna game for those guys that I recall. Um, uh, what else am I missing? Oh, is he still available through other means of, of um, uh, sellers? You can still get him on eBay, but I'm, I'm assuming the eBay people are going to be selling him for like five, ten bucks. Um, because he is an old school card and people are going to be like, whoa, he's rare to get now. But I'm going to just say, guys, I recommend, like always, Cool Stuff Inc. or um, Troll and Toad. Because the simple fact that with them, you're basically paying uh, around two dollars for him. Yeah, it's around two dollars or a little more, depending on the condition you want the card. And there's all the little things, but... If you want to get them, you can purchase it through them. Again, two bucks is nothing, or, or less than two bucks, regardless how much it is. It's nothing compared to paying five dollars for him and then be like, well, um, yeah, eBay, this kind of was a rip off, and I could have gotten him for a dollar seventy-five. I'm gonna say. Um, so, you want to get him in that means? Would you use him in the meta game? No. There's better other cards. He doesn't break the game. He, he he's an old school card. I only recommend to get him. Only for nostalgic reasons. And I almost forgot something. Let me go over here. And take this out. <laughs> and oops. And I almost forgot. Yes, he does fit in. Oh, I can't even put you in. Standard sleeve. Plastics for Pokemon Magic. Uh, not Yu-Gi-Oh. So if you would like to sleeve your cards like I do. Yes, you can sleeve them. So without further ado. Um, if you guys think you should use this in a, in a deck nowadays. Let, it, let me know in the comments below. But other than that, I... Can't say much about it uh, besides what I said. And um, if you guys want to just uh, also uh, let me know whether you should just only get it for nostalgic reasons, let me know. But with that being said, I got a special thanks for you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys.